okay continuing under the um the body where it says commence body i'm now on the last row that says next row so it says to chain one and turn which i've already done and in the same chain one space we make a single crochet single crochet in the base of the chain one space then chain one and then it says make three clusters in the chain two space so this chain two space this chain two space we have to make three clusters So three clusters we just made three clusters in the chain two space this is the chain one and then it says the single crochet in the v stitch space this is the v stitch this is a v stitch so we have to single crochet in this stitch this chain one again and this is um the repeat now so it says to repeat from so we're now gonna put three clusters in this chain to space So that's three clusters in a chain to space. And then we have to chain one again. And then we have to single crochet in the V stitch. This is the V stitch right here. And a single crochet in the V stitch. And we're gonna chain one. And we're gonna repeat that um, pattern again we're gonna put three clusters in the chain to space and we're gonna do this all the way across until we finish this, this row so I'm gonna continue this row and I'll be back to show you what the next row is gonna be okay i've now completed this row i made my last single crochet in the top of the beginning chain three of the previous row and now for the pattern row the pattern we have two rows for the pattern that we are going to have to continue to get the length of the, the leg of the um jumper so now this um the first pattern row says to chain four one two three four and turn the walk around chain four and now it says um to make one single crochet chain two and one single crochet in the center of the next three cluster group so 
the three cluster group in the center cluster we're going to put one single crochet chain two and one single crochet in the same place let's say the center cluster of the three cluster group we're going to put a single crochet chain two and a single crochet in that middle cluster sorry in that center cluster of the three cluster group and now it says to chain one and in the next single crochet we're going to make our v-stitch and the v-stitch is one double crochet chain one and one double crochet in the same stitch that's our v-stitch that's the v-stitch and now we're going to chain one and it says to repeat from so we're going to repeat what we've just done so in the center of the three cluster group the center cluster we're going to put a single crochet chain one and a single crochet in this center cluster single crochet chain one single crochet in the same place and we're going to chain one and we're going to put a v-stitch in this next single crochet so the v-stitch is chain one Sorry, a double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the same place this is our v-stitch in the single crochet and chain one and we're going to repeat the same thing going forward in in all the clusters the three cluster groups straight across to the end and I'm and I'm going to come back when I've completed all those other stitches and we're going to move on to the second pattern row and these two rows will continue with those two rows until we've completed the first leg of the jumper sorry the, the body of the arm um, jumper before we continue the legs so I'll be back after I've completed this row, this first pattern row. Okay, I've now reached the end of the first pattern row, and now it says to chain one and turn the work, turning the work around, and now it says to sing one single crochet. In the base of the chain one that we just made so single crochet in the same place where we just made the chain one and then chain one and in this chain two space we're gonna make three clusters the three clusters in the chain two space then we have chain make chain one 
and one single crochet in V stitch. And you're gonna make one single crochet in the V stitch. And it says to repeat from. So you have to repeat the same thing all the way to the end. So this is the second pattern row. So we have these two rows. The instruction says to repeat pattern rows number one and two until we have seven groups of three clusters. So that is seven more groups of the three clusters or until it, until your work measures nine and a half inches from the shoulder. Let me um, expand this a bit. So this is what we are working with now. Still. Now this is the arm hole. This is the arm area, the arm hole area. This is the neck area. And now we have to repeat the two pattern rows, this this these two rows until or what measures nine and a half inches long from the shoulder. From here it must measure nine nine and a half inches long after repeating these two rows or seven rows of the three cluster groups so i'm going to continue repeating these two rows until i have my nine and a half inches down and i'll come back and we'll continue on with the legs of this jumper this baby it's a baby onesie and this is the top So we'll come back and we'll continue working with the pattern. So I'll meet you back after I've completed the nine and a half inch long and we'll continue on with the rest of the instructions. Okay, I've now completed all, all the seven cluster groups. So we have um, all the seven and this is the length this is the length now so now we're gonna get ready <coughs> sorry to divide for the arm um, the first leg of this romper so the instruction says divide for the legs bring a bit closer Turn our work around, and it says to um, we have to work the pattern, this pattern or same pattern, across ten of these clusters. So we're going to be walking around across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten these ten clusters so this is what we're going to be doing we're going to follow the same instructions Sorry, a bit out of frame. 
So walking across these 10 clusters, we're going to be doing the same thing as we did on the previous row for the um, row patterns, the two pattern rows, sorry. So I'll continue walking across the other eight because I've completed two already. One, two. So I'll come back when I've completed the other eight and we'll join to start walking on the first leg of the romper. Okay, I've now completed the walking across the ten cluster groups. We have Sorry. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the next thing it says to make a double crochet. In the next single crochet after the tenth cluster make a double crochet in the next single crochet after that tenth cluster and after that double crochet it says to slip stitch in a third of the fourth chain of the beginning of the row so the beginning of the row we made a chain four so now we have to slip stitch in the third of this beginning chain four so we are now forming the first leg of the romper so we're gonna turn our work like this and bring it a bit closer we're gonna be slip stitching in the third of this beginning chain four. So we have one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So we're gonna slip stitch in the third of that beginning chain four. So this is the this is the formation of the first leg. This is the first leg of the romper. And now the pattern says after we have slip stitched is to turn and walk around and now for this leg we're gonna be walking the same pattern in the rounds we're gonna walk in the rounds for this first leg for eight cluster groups we're gonna walk eight cluster groups to get the length of the first leg so I'm gonna complete those rows those rows of clusters and I'll come back and I'll show you the next step for this first leg and do the same for the second leg Okay, I have now completed on um, both legs of the romper. This is the romper. The both legs have been completed. I think 
it's turning out nicely and um, the pattern asks for a different color for the trim and I used the baby blue so our next step now is to um, we're gonna move on to making the sleeves So the pattern says to rejoin our thread, our original colored thread. In the um, single crochet under the armpit where we divide for the sleeve. So I'm going to join. I'm going to join my um, yarn right in this this um stitch right there okay i've now joined my yarn back to um, begin with our sleeve so the instruction says to chain one and we have to make one single crochet in each of the 28 stitches the other 28 stitches for the armpit straight around so that's one single crochet in each of the next 28 stitches and when we have completed those single crochets we should have 29 single crochets in all so um, I'm gonna continue on with the single crochets These are the single crochets so I'll continue on completing these 28 single crochets and I'll be back so we can continue on okay I've now completed the single crochets all around this is the first row of the um, first sleeve complete so the second row it says to chain one then turn the walk around Turn the walk around. And now it says it says skip one single crochet. It says skip one single crochet. And make two clusters in this stitch the other single crochet so we skip one single crochet and we're going to make a two clusters in this single crochet this next single crochet So here is the two clusters made. Then it says to skip one single crochet and single crochet in the next single crochet. And now we're going to skip one single crochet and we're going to put two clusters in the other single crochet. So, so what we are doing here is skipping one single crochet then we're going to put a cluster in the other single crochet skip one single crochet a cluster in the other single crochet until we reach to the other end of this round so i'm going to put two clusters in this other single crochet We 
going to skip one single crochet we're going to single crochet in the other, sing the other single crochet then we're going to skip one single crochet and put a cluster in the other single crochet so i'm going to complete this row this round sorry and i'll meet you back Wait, let me complete this cluster before i go off camera So now you're going to skip one single crochet, single crochet in this other single crochet. Then you're going to make a cluster in the other single crochet until we come to the other end where we began. And we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet. And we're going to continue in this pattern. For this we'll have at the end of this round sorry we're going to have seven two cluster groups so i'm going to complete this round this round and i'm going to meet you back so we can continue on completing the sleeve okay i've now completed um the second round for the sleeve and we have seven clusters seven two clusters one two three four five six and seven this is the sleeve this is the sleeve we are working now on the sleeve so the next row let me get my yarn situated the third row now for the sleeve we're moving on on the third row it says to um chain four and turn one two three four and turn or walk around and it says to to make one single crochet chain two and one single crochet in between the clusters so in between these two clusters we have to make one single crochet one single crochet chain two one two and single crochet that's in between the clusters you have to make a single crochet chain two and a single crochet and then it says to chain one chain one and then it says to make one double crochet in the single crochet so in this single crochet this single crochet you're going to put a double crochet And it says now we have to repeat the whole thing over so after we have made this double crochet we're gonna go back now to working our single crochet chain two and single crochet in between these other two clusters so in between each cluster we're gonna put one single crochet chain two and one single crochet that's in between the cluster then we're gonna chain one and we're gonna make a double crochet in this single crochet 
and that's the that's the um pattern for this third row of the sleeve so i'm going to continue on to complete this round of this the third round of the sleeve and i'm going to meet you back when i'm finished okay i've now reached to the um end of row round number three of the sleeve of the one sleeve and now it says to make the slip stitch in a third of the beginning chain four so we're gonna go into the third stitch of the beginning chain four and we're gonna slip stitch so this is what we have for the step for the one sleeve this is what we have so far for the one sleeve And to continue on with the sleeve, the instructions are, it, it, this, they said the instructions will be to repeat the pattern row one and two as you did for the leg area. We're gonna complete the same pattern format for the sleeves. And we're gonna make four more rows in this same way for these two rows that I've just completed we're gonna continue on until we get five rows of the two cluster groups or until it measures four and a half inches long so I'm gonna go off camera and complete this one sleeve well I'll complete both sleeves because both sleeves carry the same instructions so I'll continue making four five more of these two cluster groups and this other this other row so it will be the two rows the two rounds for the sleeve area we're going to repeat that five more times until it reaches either until you complete those five sorry those five additional two cluster groups or until it measures four and a half inches long so i'll continue to to complete this one sleeve and I'll complete the other sleeve in the same fashion so I'll meet you back when I've completed both sleeves so we can move on to complete the romper hi I've now completed um, the sleeves on the romper the baby romper and I went ahead and I make the arm um, the rows of crab stitch around the neck in, in a light baby blue and also two more rows on the chest area now these um rows will be made on the um on the rows that says to um crochet in the back loops only I've, on, I've also made the um waistband and at the back this is what the back looks like I haven't yet sewn on the buttons which I'll be doing at some later point I think it turned out nicely we have the same edging at the bottom These are the buttonholes. We have five buttonholes. There's one, two, three, four, and five. I'll have the pattern link in the um, in the description. It is very simple and easy to follow. I've lost um, the footage of the first part, but um, you have the written pattern that will guide you along. I hope you, um, you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In that way, you'll be able to see 
more of my videos as they are posted and please don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time a new video goes up thanks again for watching bye